Oh, there we go. Look, the little camera's on already. Because uh, a quick update. Uh, main battle tank, the uh, Jim Day reimagining of the older MBT uh, solution is has made its P500. Yay! Get out there and order the freaking game. If you don't want it, buy it and then sell it. And, you know, just do me a favor. <laughs> Let's get this sucker printed. Uh, one by the Sword should be here today or tomorrow, I'm hoping. The Counters for Talavera should be here today or tomorrow, I'm hoping. Uh, behind me, you can see the last days of the Grand Army. Uh, I'm kind of going through the motions with that title at the moment. Not terribly excited about it, actually. It, not as interesting as 1806 and 1809. Um, I'm not sure why that is. Uh, it feels kind of like it was not as well thought out, perhaps. I, I don't know. It's the same rules. Well, similar rules. Some mild differences there. Um, I've got a lock and load game I'm playing at the moment. I've had, uh, I'm going to have a delay in my first face-to-face -face OCS game playing uh, until middle of September because uh, the guy that I was going to play with, that and Carthage, uh, we need some time for various reasons. So we're going to be putting all that on hold for the time being, which is kind of, kind of disappointing. I've got it set up on a, on a, a frame, a picture frame. So I can just move to one side. I, I might just, uh, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with the pieces though. Kind of like to move it out of the way. Not your problem, right? So uh, we're gonna do that. So we've got lock and load. We've got this campaign commander, uh, Coral Sea thing going. This little knucklehead of a game, which I'm, I'm gonna wrap up the next, I think it'll be uh, clear who's gonna be winning uh, in the next day or two of game time. <clears throat> And then I've got to start on Telavera, and I'm really dreading that. I, I am uh, thinking it really is the ASL of, uh, of Napoleonic tactical combat. And then after that, uh, we're jumping straight into another complex uh, set of titles, and that's going to be the line of battle system and this hallowed ground. And what I'm going to try and do there, since I think I'm going to have a little bit more time now, is I'm going to... Uh, set up the scenarios for McPherson's Ridge for each one. And I'm actually going to set them up side by side and I may not play them through side by side, but I will certainly play each one, one after the other and let's, you know, let's kind of look at them uh, from a comparative standpoint. Lots of, uh, there's a, a thread going on on Line of Battle, uh, about Line of Battle. Line of Battle? Is that what I'm trying to say? Yes, it is. Uh, on BGG. Uh, about the authenticity of the system and how it portrays Civil War uh, tactics. I'm not a Civil War tactical expert. I've been to Gettysburg once, which was just a few months ago. I'm starting to read some more about it. I am not uh, a dude that runs around in a gray or blue uniform, and I have never fired a musket or a uh, you know, old rifle for that matter. But what I do think is that uh, both the systems probably have uh, you know their their value, and uh, we need to stop thinking that everything's going to be perfect in a game. Uh, and perhaps we need to not look at everything as a simulation, and perhaps just look at it as a game first that happens to try to be something like a simulation. Does that make any sense? Just so there's some visceral commentary, and I know I get pissed off about stuff, and it's usually I get pissed off for, I think, for a reasonably good reason, if something's broken. And these guys are saying this game's broken. I, I find it hard to believe that after all the high quality titles that Ding Essig has put out, that this is that bad after this much playtesting, whatever that amount is. I've heard it's hundreds of hours, which you know, might just be each person playing at once, but I would be really surprised if it's that broken. And if it is broken, then let's fix it because it's a lovely presentation of materials. And uh, if it's not broken, then someone from MMP or Dean needs to speak up and, and say something about why things were done the way they were. And you need to kind of come out and I think come out and defend your work and explain it to either those that don't know or those that, and guys like me who definitely don't know. And if I was reading that thread right now, I wouldn't go out and buy that game. 
because The Last Chance for Victory doesn't sound like a title that represents American Civil War combat. And how and why is it significantly different from this hollow ground? I hope to explore some of those things from a novice's standpoint, and we'll see what happens. All right, talk to you soon. That's kind of a little update. I don't know what that was all about. Did I tell you the one by the sword is on the way? It is. I'm really excited about that. That's got to get on the table too soon. Tune too soon. Too much coffee today. Later.